Okay, so here I am at the El Paso Marathon, and there's lots of people here inside the ballpark right now. And it starts in about 40 minutes. We're getting ready to start. I don't know where the start is. A lot of people don't know. So anyways, here's the ballpark. It's about 45 degrees out, not too bad. So I took off my sweatshirt. I'm almost ready to go, so we'll see you at the start. All right, so now I am running towards the start line because they said it's about to start. And I can see the arch right now. And we will be there in a few minutes. Well, less than a few minutes. But I'm just doing this to kind of warm up. And here we are with the start line. <laughs> so this is a good warm up. I'll just go way to the back of the group because I'm not even going to be first. There'll be a lot of people trying to run way faster than me. So it's my goal. Six hour cutoff. I have my music set and we'll see you again when I start. We have 11 minutes to the start, 11 minutes. and TFCU Half Marathon. Have a great run. Have a great day. Thank you for being a part of this tremendous, tremendous event. Don't worry, folks back here. Your chip start time starts when you cross the starting line. Good time to sing I Love a Parade, eh, George? I love a parade. Mile 
four we just passed. And uh, I'm going faster than I thought. Oh, I just did six miles in under an hour. So I'm surpassing my goals. So there's already people running back and lots of people still going forward. But I'm almost to the turnaround, I think. Yeah. All right, so I just passed 10, only 10, not even halfway done. Uh, I think we're on Edgemere. I'm on Edgemere, there's a big split in. So, doing okay, 10 in under two hours. I think they start picking up people at mile 20 if they don't make it there by 11. And I have two hours to get to mile 20. So I'll put the camera up, run. See you guys in a little while. So I might. 13.1 about and I did that in less than two hours so it's pretty good or maybe a little more than two hours I don't know I'll have to check back So, my thighs feel like they're encased in cement. Everything's so heavy. But, I'm going to make the 20 miles before 11 o'clock. So, I'll have to keep on running. Go a little faster than I am right now talking to you guys. There's all kinds of cars still coming across different roads. Not everything can get blocked off. So, thank you. All right, so I'll talk to you guys later. When I get to 20, I'm back at the Cray in Montwood, getting to be my, oh my God, I don't know which way to go. This car's coming, so. Here we go. I still have more than 10 to go, so. <sighs> oh, 
Okay, so I'm almost to 20 miles. This is so hard. And um, my legs don't want to work. I just want to fall down in a fetal position and just lay there. My body's almost like making me fall down and do that. But six more miles to go. So here we are and I'll show you all what we're at. stopped and asked if I was okay. They wanted me to get in, but I didn't want to. So we're almost done. Six more miles to go. And uh, now I'm in Timberwolf. Somewhere over here, Timberwolf. Oh, this is the spot we used to come to, Carlos and Mickey's, and do Bible study and COs. So anyways, I'm off for now, six more miles to go. I just passed 23 miles. Oh, it's really windy, this sucks. I just passed 25 miles and like have a mile and two left and I can't go any farther. I just, just kind of crumpled down. And so they're making me stop and get the van to the finish, which is only that it's been almost six hours is the finish cut off, so I'm not going to go out and get it. I'm kind of sad, but I did 25 miles and plus a little more. So, that's that. My first my first 26 mile marathon. I can do 13, so we'll try that next time. So, I did get picked up it mile 5.8 I ran around the corner 25 or 25.8 8 so I was almost at 26 miles and my body just crumpled up like a just crumpled into <laughs> and the police were like you can't go any further you have to take the van back so that's what happened but the EMTs checked me out and um, I ran around the ballpark well limped around the ballpark because my legs are cramping up and I got my medal. I got to go over the finish line um, six hours and 11 minutes. So that's probably what I would have finished about anyways. So there I go. Today was hard and I'm ready for a bath with jets and bubbles. I'll see you all later. <laughs>